dear learners, welcome to the wonderful world of English language learning. Today, we'll take up Chapter 3, The Midnight Visitor, written by Robert Arthur from Class 10th Supplementary Reader, Footprints Without Feet. As you all know, the supplementary reader is given to enjoy, to read, to create interest in the language. So, today we'll take up the chapter. Before I start the chapter, the learning objectives of the day would be at the end of the lesson, you will be able to read the short story, The Midnight Visitor with understanding, identify the events that happen in the text and the main idea along with the sequence of the events in the story. Appreciate the story and intervene and interpret the events and theme of the story and connect them with your daily life. So I hope we are going to do it. Let us take a notebook and a pen with us and continue the learning with us. Before I start the chapter, let me ask you something. Have you been scared by someone who has appeared from behind suddenly? Or have you scared someone like this? What have been your reaction? Let us pause and think. I was very scared. What about you? Let us close our eyes and think. It's night time. We are all sleeping. Suddenly, there is a sharp doorbell. What would be your reaction? What would you do? I hope everybody has thought about it. If it would be me, I would be very scared and I would call my elders to open the door. Such a visitor who comes at night, so late at night, is called a midnight visitor. Is such a visitor welcome? No, not for me at least. Unless and until he is a very close relative or a very good friend of mine. Otherwise, such a visitor might not be welcome. In the view of what we have discussed, let me show you a couple of pictures and you are expected to identify some of them at least who these people might be. Yes, you are correct. These are Byomkesh Bakshi, Miss Maple, Sherlock Holmes, Hercules Pirot. Can you find something common among all of these? Right, these are all detectives. These are all secret agents. So who is a secret agent? A secret agent is somebody who spies on others for the interest of our own country. Can you identify some more secret agents? Hmm, it could be James Bond. It could be Karam Chand. You are welcome to note more of them. It's up to you. All are fine. So, raise your hands and pat on your back. You have done well. Now, let us continue with the chapter. Now that we have identified some of the secret agents, can you list out some of the characteristics a secret agent may have? He could be smart. He could be intelligent. He should be fit so that he could fight with others. He should be good speaker. He should communicate well. He should have a presence of mind. He should be smooth talker. Do you have something else from what I have spoken? Very good. Let us go through the chapter and see if it connects. So, the chapter is about Ossibel, a secret agent who is expecting a very important report. Max, another secret agent, comes and demands the report from him. What would happen? Would Ossibel be able to outwit him? Let us see. So, you are expected to read the chapter yourself and at least build some understanding of the text. Let's summarize. Fowler is a writer who meets Ossibel, a secret agent, but he is very disappointed. First, Ossibel does not meet any physical requirement of a secret agent. Secondly, the room, the hotel, also does not meet his expectations. Ossibel 
is able to make this out and he tells Fowler not to worry and he will soon see a very important paper for which many of the people have risked their lives. They reach the room and here comes the first thrill of the day. Max was standing there with a pistol in hand aiming at them. Both of them are surprised. Ausible wants to know how Max was able to enter the room and was very angry the, as it was the second time somebody has entered his room from the common balcony of his and the next room. He said he would complain about it to the hotel management. Suddenly, there is a knock on the door. Everybody is surprised. Ossible said, it must be the police as he has called the police for security reasons. He warned that police would enter and would shoot Max. Max threatened him to get rid of the police or he would shoot and take his chances. He steps through the window onto the balcony, keeping his gun pointed towards them and drops. Suddenly, a scream is heard. Ossible opens the door and a waiter is standing outside with wine and glasses. Fowler is shaken. Where is the police? Oh, there is no police. Only Henry, whom I was expecting. But the man on the balcony. You see, my friend, there is no balcony. So, how did you like the chapter? Was it fun or not? Were you able to make out that Ossible fooled Max and was able to save himself, Fowler and the report? I hope you have understood something from the chapter and the summary I have given you. Let us check how much. Now, I'll ask you some small comprehension questions or the multiple choice questions. You have to be very careful. Multiple choice questions you would have in your exams as well. They carry one marks each, but the choices can be dicey. You have to pay attention to which what you are marking. So question number one, who was Ausible? A secret agent? A writer? A clever man? A policeman? Yes, you are right. He was a secret agent. But please pay attention to point number C. He was also a clever man. So please be very careful when you mark your answers. So MCQs may have more than one option as the right option. Let me ask question number two. On meeting Ossible, Fowler was surprised, disappointed, happy, sad. What was he? Correct. Fowler was disappointed. Question number three. What was Max trying to obtain? A secret paper, money, some business secret or a national secret? Yes. Some of you must have marked a secret paper, which is correct. Some must have marked a national secret, which is also correct. As if we read between the lines, Ossible was a spy and spies work for a country. Great going. Question number four. What was Fowler's reaction to Max? Was he happy? Stunned? Startled? No reaction at all. Now you have to pay close attention. All of them might look fine or two of them might look okay. You are right. Fowler was surprised. Stunned is also the right word because the chapter says he was pale. Pale is white faced when you are get too shocked or surprised. Moving on to the next question, question number five. How did Ossible get rid of Max? By fighting with him through his intelligence, by surrendering or by weaving a story. He was able to get rid of Max through his intelligence by weaving a story. So both B and D options would be correct. It would be better if we read the lessons ourselves. However, listening to the story 
is also enjoyable and contributes to our understanding and development of listening skills. You can use and hear the audio text available at CIET website. You can Google the NCERT textbook or you can find or click the link displayed on the screen. Let us listen to a small part of the lesson and then we can do a small activity about it. Let's hear. Possible did not fit any description of a secret agent Fowler had ever read. Following him down the musty corridor of a gloomy French hotel where Ossible had a room, Fowler felt let down. It was a small room on the sixth and top floor and scarcely a setting for a romantic adventure. Ossible for one thing was fat, very fat. And then there was his accent. Though he spoke French and German passably, he had never altogether lost the American accent he had brought to Paris from Boston 20 years ago. You are disappointed, Ossible said, wheezily over his shoulder. You were told that I was a secret agent, a spy dealing in espionage and danger. You wish to meet me because you are a writer, young and romantic. You envisioned mysterious figures in this night, the crack of the pistol, drugs in the wine. Instead, you have spent a dull evening in a French music hall with a sloppy fat man who, instead of having messages, slipped into his hand by dark-eyed beauties only get a prosaic telephone call, making an appointment in his room, you have been bought. Now that you have heard the audio, you can see two pictures on your screen. One would be possible and one would be some secret agent. Can you spot the differences between possible and the other secret agents as thought by Fowler. We all know Fowler had some image of a secret agent in his mind. Let us see what could be the difference between the two. I am giving you a minute to write down the differences in your notebook. I hope all of you are working. Great. So let us start. Possible is fat, he has an American accent, he speaks wheezily, is staying in a gloomy French hotel, spends a dull drab evening in a French music hall, gets information through a phone call. And what did Fowler think? Fowler thought the agent would be physically fit there would be mystery, mysterious figures in the night. Crack of the pistol, drugs in the wine. The messages would be slipped in the hand through dark-eyed beauties. Oh, what a big difference. Were you able to point them down? I hope you were. Very good work. Let us continue. Some characters are explicitly explained in the text and some are explained through the dialogues of others. For example, Fowler. Fowler character is not directly explained. You have to find out about Fowler through what Ossible spoke. Can you think or write down something or some words about Fowler's character? Should I give you some time more? Okay, I hope everybody has written down. Ossible says Fowler is a writer. He is young, romantic, disappointed to see Ossible. He is bored. So, can we make something about Fowler? Can you write something about Fowler? Great. So, this is how you start developing a character given in the story. You first jot down points 
which are given in the story and then make complete sentences to get it coherent. So, now that we have gone through the lesson, I hope you have been able to read the short story, The Midnight Visitor with understanding, were able to identify the events, the main idea of the story and the sequence of idea. Can you do so? Great. You were able to enjoy the story, interpret the event and connect them with your daily life. Thank you. I hope you all go through the chapter again. Keep reading and we will see you soon with part 2.